Navigating through tables in Excel is pretty straightforward. In fact, it is very similar to navigating through a regular Excel worksheet. However, there are some differences. The tab key. When you use the tab key, Excel will activate the cell directly to the right of the current selected cell. However, when you reach the last column in the table, the table cell in the first column of the very next row will be activated instead of the very next column in the worksheet as it would be if you were not working within an Excel table. Selecting parts of an Excel table with your mouse. When you scroll your mouse over an Excel table, you will notice that the cursor changes into different shapes. These different shapes will help you select specific parts of the table. One shape is the down arrow. If you hold your cursor directly over the top grid line of a cell within the first row of your table, you will notice that your cursor turns into a black down arrow. When you click your mouse, the entire column will be selected. Any formatting changes you make will be applied to every cell within that column that is in the Excel table. Another shape is the right arrow. If you hold your cursor directly over the left grid line of a cell within the very first column of your table, you will notice that your cursor turns into a black right arrow. If you click your mouse, all cells within that row are selected. Any formatting changes that you make will be applied to the selected cells. Another shape is the down right arrow. If you hold your cursor over the very left top corner of your table, you will notice that your cursor will turn into a down right arrow. If you click your mouse, the entire table will be selected. Any formatting changes you make will be applied to the entire table.